Week 2 of the SBL Pokemon Draft League is finally here. I'm PokeMD, coach of your LA Wakers, and we're taking on one of the toughest teams in the league and play more. I'll show you a quick breakdown of my team, why I chose these Pokemon, and the Wi-Fi battle will follow. But of course, if you're excited about Pokemon Draft League content and your LA Wakers, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and sub if you're new. Playmore has an insane team with one of the best mixed attackers ever in Iron Valiant and a Garchomp to be both an offensive threat or set up hazards. They have a fantastic Steel type in Metagross and a great defensive core between Vaporeon, Amoongus, and Cyclozar. Playmore arguably has two of the best Terra Captains, a Hisuian Electro that can Terrastalize into a Grass, Ice, and Fairy type, and a Glacier that can Terrastalize into an Ice, Electric, and Fairy type. So this week I'm fighting Terra Captain with Terra Captain because Arbalava is coming off the bench. I changed my Terra type from water to fire specifically for this week to take on Pokemon like Amoongus and resist hits from Serral Edge. Terra Blast works as great stab both before and prior to Terrastalization, with Giga Drain for recovery that allows me to 2 Akio Garchomp if grassy terrain is set up by my ability. Strength Sap lets me overwhelm Serral Edge and get reliable healing versus Cyclozar, and Earth Power allows me to 2 Akio both Serral Edge and Metagross. I ran a Citrus Berry this week, that way I'm never 2 Akio'd by Garchomp's Earthquake, even though my my HP and defense EVs already helped me out with that. But more importantly, it allows me to completely wall Sarah Ledge with Terra Fire, as Poltergeist will no longer work on me since my item was consumed. I also live one Bandit close combat from Iron Valiant and KO it with Giga Drain back. Because they're one of the best teams in the league, both draft and play-wise, I'm bringing out all the stops with Choice Band Swampert. Because if Playmore tries to switch into both Defensive Vaporeon or Defensive Amoongus, they will be 2 KO'd by Earthquake. Earthquake is actually very free versus my opponent's team because they're only immune is Iron Jugulus, which I have Ice Punch for or Flip Turn to get on out of there. Knock Off allows me to deal with Metagross on a Balloon, which I'm Eevee to outspeed a Min Speed variant, and I have Damp as my ability just in case it wants to go for Explosion. Obviously, I do have to be careful in this game because I do have Grassy Terrain plus Earthquake, but I'm very confident neither of them will be out around the same time. Speed wise, Iron Valiant with Booster Energy was still a threat, so I have Choice Scarf Cinderace with Gunk Shot to knock it out, and Pyro Ball to deal with both Amoongus and Metagross. With U Turn to get on out of there and Bad Match, versus Garchomp or maybe even Vaporeon. Lastly, I went with Court Change because I don't want to lose to Spike Stealth Rock Garchomp. Because Cinderace struggles with Serral Edge, I have Defensive Hisui and Quillfish to get off Intimidate and threaten it with Crunch, while also laying up spikes for the team. With my HP and Special Defense EVs, I'm not too a KO'd by Iron Valiant's Moonblast, and I threaten it back with Barb Barrage. And with Intimidate, I also live two close combats from Choice Band Iron Valiant. Lastly, I went with Destiny Bond to hopefully catch a Glass Tree with Vaporeon if they're giving me a hard time. Scizor gave me a much needed steel and fairy resist for the team, and also bullet punch to deal with Iron Valiant. I went with Citrus Berry, that way I can eat multiple hits from Metagross, as well as a Suian Electrode. I went Thief over Knockoff because it's constantly 90 base power due to Technician, and it allows me to steal leftovers from either Metagross or Vaporeon if my Citrus Berry is eaten. Lastly, I went with Dual Wing Beat to deal with Amoongus, but also do 70% to Vaporeon at plus 2. Scizor was also EV to be faster than Min Speed Metagross. For my last Pokemon, I I went with Custap Endeavor Endure Deancey because I wanted a Pokemon that can get me out of trouble no matter what my opponent throws at me. Plus 6 Glastrier? No problem. Endeavor down to 1 HP and I can revenge kill it with something else. I'm Eevee to take 1 plus 2 Poltergeist from Sarah Ledge and I do a bunch back with Diamond Storm. And my special attack EVs allow me to knock out even HP invested Iron Valiant with Moonblast. My defense EVs let me live a plus 1 Life Orb Iron Head from Cyclozar. Deancey also gives me a nice resist to the dual stab of Iron Jugulus, and I easily tank plus 2 Earthquake and Grassy Terrain from Garchomp. So that's my team for week 2 of the SPL Pokemon Draft League. Like I said before, if you enjoy the Pokemon Draft League content, I upload it every Sunday, so consider subscribing, but I also upload every single day. And make sure you check out Play More, because General Tar Heel will be playing these games, but they'll be uploaded by Pokemon and Tyler. Lastly, I want to give a big shout out to Amo, Owen, Tone, Maverick Shooters, Envy, Dylan, and Zazzo for all the help this week. I've held you up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. Week two, and we're taking on Playmore. Ben is a very strong opponent, and I think they have the uh, strongest team in the league, or at least top two, but very, very good team. If you guys do enjoy the draft league content, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, and also subscribe to the channel. I am having half a million subs this year. If you want to be a part of that, that's up to you. Very good team on my opponent's part. Let's see how we want to start, though. I think I want to go off a of Cinderace. I feel like it's really strong early on and I can U-turn out on the bad matchups and simply go out into the appropriate Pokemon. My Choice Band Swampert has a lot of fun here, provided 
no techs like Power Whip Cyclozar, Grass Knot Metagross, Energy Ball Iron Val. But I like Ace a lot just because it's really fast and can U turn out real quick. Code AIM30 is 30% off from now until Tuesday morning. If you haven't already picked up my Draco Shaker or want to try anything from Advanced GG, now is the time. Any caffeinated products, 18 plus, but they do have hydration lines that do not have any caffeine. Please check out Play More as well. Their channel link will be down below. It's really sick to have uh, General Tar Heel. Uh, Pokemon as well as Tyler just doing all the videos together. It's th the way they're doing draft is just so cool. But yeah, Frankie is the Metagross lead. So we actually end up getting a pretty decent lead on my part. Cinderace into uh, Metagross. I can U-turn out immediately. And that should be all around good in this game. I mean, Metagross is going to be taking uh, quite a bit from this as well. Let's see how much does my Cinderace U-turn do? About 20 to 25 percent if it's max HP. About 25 percent, yeah. So U-turn, turn one. Uh, it could, good, good, great lead on my part then because they ended up switching. So I get some momentum here. That is Garchomp for sure. That is for sure Garchomp. Oof. Let's see how much this ends up doing. Okay, about 20 percent. I'd say. Let's see Rough Skin. Do we see Rocky Helmet as well? We don't see Rocky Helmet. Perfect. So that's something I need to weaken. Uh, I do think SD Scizor is really good here. I want to make the Swampert play though because I feel like Earthquake is really strong into their team and they don't really switch in very well. And it's Leftovers Garchomp. Lefties. It means I can't be too KO'd here and we can even threaten them with a potential Ice move. So I'll go for Earthquake. Uh, maybe he gets a Brox, but I can always Court Change that later, so I'm not too worried. They have zero Earthquake switches, alright? This Choice Band Earthquake is going to do a good chunk of damage to something, whether they stay in or not. And honestly, this mod is really important in the game, I feel like, so I would get not wanting to sack it. I mean, my Earthquake switches are just as bad as theirs throughout this entire game. Take a nice little sip of water. They do end up switching on the Choice Band Earthquake. Who are they going to bring out? Frankie is the Metagross. On the Earthquake, oof! You have a sugar berry, my friend? Well, goodbye, Frankie! I mean, we know it's One Piece. That crit did not matter. I am Choice, well, it could have mattered, I guess, but now they don't know I'm Choice Ban. So we get rid of Metagross for the entirety of the game. That opens up Deancey a lot. A lot. Very, very, very good start for me. I will just say that if that was max HP on Metagross, Earthquake does 104% minimum. So they definitely expected the ice move and wanted to play aggressive and hit me with Grass Knot. For sure, that's what they expected to do there. I'm assuming... Well, I mean, let's say I'm not offensive, right? They don't even know I'm Choice Band based on the crit. Yeah, they don't. Because uh, just a high roll could help. Zoro is... Iron Valiant. Makes a lot of sense. Hmm. How do I want to switch into Val? Got to be careful here. Both of you are going to be very important in this game. I do think my... Um, I do think bringing out my Suing Quillfish will be good here. Let's see if there's Specs or not. Specs Moonblast does a lot. Specs Aura Sphere does about the same as well. Again, that's like worst case scenario them being Specs. I don't want them Energy Balling me at all, so I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. I get off an Intimidate as well on Val, so this is an okay start for me. Alright, nice little Intimidate. Let's see what they go for. 334 HP. They go for knockoff. 334 to 309. Hmm. Iron Val. That's physical. They could be... It's about 25. Let me get rid of this. So that would be doing... That is not, well, that is minus one as well, right? So that should do around 25. Yeah, they can't kill me here. I think I get up, uh, I think I go for Barbarage. I actually think I go for Barbarage. I actually think I always go for Barbarage because if Garchomp comes out, I potentially poison it and nothing on their team likes this. There's Garchomp. I was debating doubling out to Swampert here, but I think Barbarage is better. Again, getting a poison on Garchomp would go a long way for my uh, Swampert after. We'll go a long way for Swampert. Which I think we go right out into. Swampert should be able to come right out on this Garchomp. Did absolutely nothing. Garchomp's Earthquake, if it's max attack, can 2 a KO my Swampert. 
but I do have Ice Punch as well at the end of the day to threaten them. And I think I will be clicking the Earthquake one more time. Every single time. Again, losing my Evil Light sucks. Because it makes the Serolite Gen game very scary. But it's not the end of the world. So there's Stealth Rock. Perfect. SR. I think I... I'm going to play around like their Val does not have... I always Earthquake here, by the way. Always. No matter what. Because this is the Cinderace answer. Uh, but I'm going to play it around like the Val doesn't have Energy Ball, I think. I also threaten them once again with Ice Beam. So maybe they stay and maybe they switch. Either way, it's good for me. Because I will be core changing worst case scenario. And I always have that bullet punch at the end of the day for everything besides the Sarah Ledge. So I'm not sure what they, if they want to end up going out to Glass Tree on the Ice Move. If they stay in, I still get a good chunk of damage off on Garchomp. Like a really, really, really good chunk. There's Earth Power. That's not going to do much. There's absolutely nothing. Earth Power. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So that's, that's really tanky Garchomp. It's super defensive. But again, this is really good for Cinderace. They know they don't have switches to this, so I just clip Earthquake again. Earth Power is obviously Arbaliva. Olive. Arbaliva. Excuse me. Arbaliva. I, I keep trying to remember the name. The Pokemon Horizon said it weird, though, because it's based on an Olive, and then I had people complain that I said it like that, and they're like, ah, whatever. So... Either way, Earthquake's always a play. This is obviously super physically defensive. Like, ridiculously physically defensive. I'm assuming Val can KO me if it comes out, but if it doesn't, then I'll do a billion percent to it as well. Just, that's kind of why we went into this game, right? Their team had no real choice ban Earthquake switchings. They ended up going for Dragon Tail here. Obviously, because I was faster. Or Roar. Dragon Tail. Who do you bring out? Is it... Let's see. Ends up being Quillfish. Okay. Get off a nice little Intimidate there. I suppose at this point, I should bring out my Arbaliva on the Earthquake. I should get Terrain activated. So I think I definitely bring out Arbaliva. Arbaliva. Olive, Arbaliva, sorry, <laughs> Olive, Arbaliva. God, I'm going to remember this. Detail. Let's see if they end up going for another one. Because if they don't, then I get some massive damage off here too. They do go for Earth Power, perfect. That's going to activate my ability. I get a Spadef drop, which is a little bit frustrating because, again, I'm very, very... Like, I'm bulky enough to live hits from Val, but with the Spadef drop, it's a little bit harder. It's definitely a little bit harder. If they bring out Cyclozar, I think I'm in a decent spot versus that too, though. So, we're going to go for the uh, Giga Drain here, potentially knocking this thing out. That Earth Power Spadef drop kind of sucked, but it is what it is. They do switch. Cyclozar? Terrain is up. Let's see Cyclozar. Yep, that's Cyclozar. Giga Drain in Terrain. 21%. I mean, that's about as AV as it gets, right? That's about as AV as it gets, I feel. I can go for a Terra Blast here. If they knock me off, now they can't touch me with their Sarah Ledge, so this is a good turn for me. Yeah, regular Terra Blast will do a good chunk, about 40%. Nice. Yeah, they are AV. I'm pretty positive it's AV. AV. Gonna simply go for a Giga Drain because it can't do much damage to me as well. Again, this is a Mon that's like kind of sits on their team. This is a Mon that definitely sits on their team. We gotta be a little bit careful around the Sarah Ledge, but now that I don't have my item, I like I said, I wall it. They can't poltergeist me. Ooh, that was a good that did a good hit. That did a good hit. Knock. U-turn. I would assume Garchomp gets Sack here, or they go Glass Tree A. Maybe? It'll be close. I should have maybe Strum Stab this turn, I think. Strum Stab might have been better. I didn't expect a U-turn. But I Giga Drain anyway, so if they go Cycle... Uh, if they go Sarah Ledge, I'm in a good spot. 
There's the glass. Get a beautiful hit off on that mod. Ooh, nasty, nasty crit. I get a nasty crit on you. Oh my god, that was a, a beautiful crit too. Holy. And it's leftovers as well. Oof. Do I want to tear a fire here? I kind of do. Mm. It kind of depends, right? Because, like, I definitely need to keep you healthy in terrain. 38 to 40 something. They will not be able to knock me off at Giga Drain. So I'm going for Giga Drain. Uh, I, I expect them to tear, which is why I'm ter uh, terrestrializing myself. And being that fire type, I match up decently well. They actually end up switching. Okay, they, I mean, this is better for me, right? Like, if they go Cyclozar, I'm good. They end up going back to Cyclozar. So, yeah, this is the mod that they don't really deal with very well, like I said. I They do bait my Terra, but... I mean, what do they... Does Cyclozar even beat me? That was a good scout. Good scout. 50% lefties. So, that was a very good scout. But I'm like thinking, like, what does Cyclozar even do to me? It's not even going to be able to do damage to me. This entire It will not be able to do damage to me. At all. Like, Stomping Tantrum won't do anything. And I get my Grass Terrain back. I literally just stay in and click Giga Drain again. Always, always, always. I, me being Fire is just so good in this game. Did Rapid Spin. Yep. Amol. I wrote Amol because Amol used this. I meant to write Rapid Spin, but Amol did the exact same thing. Like, our, this Olive was just so strong into them. It was just so strong into them the entire time. It really was. I think right here, I can reveal Earth Power. I think I can reveal Earth Power now. Because if they want to go hard, if they want to U-turn out Sarah Ledge, I'm in a good spot. Maybe they have Iron Head as the last move. Basically, Earth Power deals with Edge if they bring it out immediately. And I don't have to worry about that giant threat. Again, me being Citrus Berry doesn't matter as much because they obviously got rid of my item. But it had they, you know, went for Poltergeist and stuff, we would have been in a good spot. So, let's see. Our Bolivar uh, got the name right. Nice. But yeah, Earth Power for sure here is the play. Earth Power is 100%. So they do U-turn. All right, let's see if that Sarah Ledge is coming in. I don't know if you go out into... You don't go Val on Giga Drain, right? Maybe you sack Garchomp? Is it Edge? Is it Edge? Come on, be Edge. Come on, be Sarah Ledge. Be Sarah Ledge. Come on. Show me Sarah Ledge. Show me Sarah Ledge. Show me a nickname I have not seen yet. Come on. Show me Sarah Ledge. Come on, let's go. Show me the Sarah Ledge. Have I seen that name yet? I have not, and we got it with the Earth Power Pawn switching. Let's go. Beautiful. Weakness policy? I get a nasty crit again. Oh, but if it's like Spadef like that, it's not killing me. I'm going to strip stab once just in case they have Destiny Bond. Just in case it's Destiny Bond. That is like super Spadef as well. They can't poltergeist me. Shrimp Sap is just good in general. Oof. This mom put it in work. This mom is putting in crazy amount of work. I knew it would though. Also, look how good SD. Look how good. It might be Temper Flare last on Cyclozar. But look how good Swords Dance uh, Scizor looks now. It looks insane. It looks absolutely insane. That Earth Power was huge. Alright, we get a Shrimp Sap. Just in case. So obviously their boost doesn't even matter at all. Minus one. We've been wasting terrain turns too. All right, let's see how much his earth power is going to do. They can't poltergeist me. They can't bitter blade to get it back. Now that's bulk up, I'm pretty sure it's not destiny bond either. Bulk up. 
Bulk up, baby! So it's minus one. It's super spadef. I don't know what's coming in, but I really don't know what they're going to do to beat this Mon. Like, legitimately, I'm pretty sure this guy dies. Surely you die. I'm special attack invested. Nice! Garchomp dead. Perfect. Dead, dead, dead. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. This is really, really good for me. So Edge is at like, I'm going to say 50% almost. Cyclozar, who cares? I wall it with this. Glass is a threat, but it's not the end of the world. It's definitely not the end of the world. And SD, let me see. Let's assume that's max HP, by the way. Let's see how much my SD scissor does. Plus two, 36 to 43. Okay, good to know. So next, we want to focus on court changing to the other side. This demon comes back out. Hmm. I want to be careful because I don't want to get revenged by glass. But I think this will always be glass. I think we sack you. I think we sack you. Get off and intimidate as well. I, I mean, you're good for Destiny Bond, so maybe you're still worth for later, but I'm pretty sure I can court change worst case scenario, right? Also, Gunk Shot is stupid good right now. So there's a CC. Nice does nothing. Yeah, CC really doesn't do that much. Grass Terrain does end, though. Pretty sure I just barb always he knocks me out here with the second cc but then i can go swamper live a hit and an earthquake right i think that's the play yeah because you're minus um minus one swampert iron val Jolly. I'm, I'm, I'm pert. I'm a pert at the end of the day. And they're minus one attack. 37 to 45%. I mean, the alternative play is... I think just Deancey's better, isn't it? Like, Deancey's definitely better. They have no Deancey switchings. And they're minus... Like, this, this is the guarantee I'm not going to die to one hit here. So I definitely just Moonblast. For sure. Yeah, that's better than risking Swampert, because Swampert could still uh, KO Cyclozar. Like, I still have free Earthquakes versus that. It only has knockoff U-turn. So, they have to switch it on the Moonblast now. There's Bubby. Bubby on the Moonblast. Iron Head will not knock me out, and Moonblast does to a KO Bubby. I can actually go for the, uh, the Diamond Storm, too, I think, here. Yeah, there's an Iron Head. Not going to KO me. They don't flinch me either, so I get a nice little diamond storm off. Let's go. And we KO Bubby. Perfect. So no more pivoting around my Mon either. No more pivoting. None of that. None of that pivoting stuff going around. Not anymore. So they're obviously going to bring out... What? It's going to be the... The, the Val, right? Oh man, Scizor could have SD on this thing for super free. Like, actually for free. It could also be glass, I guess, that could come out now. I'm not sure. Me being a fire type makes a difference. How much did knockoff do? Knockoff to Quill. Intimidate was activated. Val. Let me, let me run the, the calc as well. Knock. Get rid of this booster energy. Hmm. I think I just endure. I think I literally endure. Cause I, I maybe this is messing up because the glass gray endgame is still possible. But I feel like I really feel like I'll be okay into it. I do. 
So we just endure here. We get our cut after as well. I don't know if they would run vacuum wave into me. There's a leaf blade. Ooh, leaf blade. Okay, this works out for me because if they end up going Sarah Ledge this turn, I'm in a good I'm in a good spot because Sarah Ledge takes chip. Right? Sarah Ledge takes the damage I need. So that way I can uh I can SD Scissor Sweep. He might again he might scout for this, but if he doesn't see the cut stab coming, I'm in a good spot. I really gotta be careful around that. I really gotta be careful around around that uh that horse though. I gotta be very careful around horse. Horse is a threat. I'm assuming it's gonna be like Terra Electric or something. Based on the way the game's going. But as long if it's Terra Electric, I still have Earthquake in the back. Like I'm I'm still saving that. I still have a very strong Earthquake and I'm faster. So no matter what play they make here, I think I'm okay. He does not. Are you vacuum wave? Close combat? Knockoff? No spirit break? Okay, yeah, he does go Sarah Ledge. Good call. Yup, good call, good call. However, I can always court change and then endeavor. So he's gonna shadow sneak here. Uh, I always go you. Always, always, always. Because it's very free. And I can court change and save my Deancey to go for Endeavor and then later win. And SC Scissor still goes stupid. I'm assuming this will bulk up here. Or well, maybe I'll just sneak. It should sneak. That was a good scout. Very good scout by Playmore. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Tar Heel. It's so cool because like this is a Legacy League, obviously, right? So we're, we're bringing back a bunch of people and it's just sick to see that uh, one of them is obviously uh, both both of these people are like basically some people that have not been in draft in a while so that's really cool all right it's time I bring you in goes for the bitter blade doesn't do anything nice and I can go for a nice little strength sap and then 1v1 I think I can 1v1 everything I definitely, I definitely won't be one this. That's for sure. Bulk up ain't gonna do enough for you. Bulk up does not do enough. I live close combat. I for sure won't be one you. So I strength stop here. Always. He didn't, why, yeah, why would you sneak the anti? <laughs> sneak the anti didn't work. Wouldn't make sense, so. Bitter. Blade. Hmm. I don't think there's anything crazy you could go for here. But yeah, as long as the Shrimp Sap, it looks to be all three physical attackers left. Our Bolivar looks good. Alright, so just go for another Bitter Blade. Which is fair. Very fair. Gets a crit there, but I don't think it matters. Especially, I mean, I mean, it matters in the sense that he's getting healthier, which is annoying. But it doesn't matter in a sense that I feel okay into this Mon. Because again, we always have the Earth Power to chip. I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to ignore the fact that it can bulk up and just go for Giga Drain here, just in case he wants to go Val. Because again, I have Earth Power to 2-A-K-O. Uh, I hit Glass harder. But mainly, I don't want the Val coming in for free. Yeah, bulk up doesn't matter. I don't think bulk, I don't think bulk up matters. I don't think he beats me before I beat it, basically. Especially because Earth Power does so much damage, man. Earth Power does way too much damage. Let me check the, the Pokemon again. Tech status. Why? Yeah, it just has the defense boost, so we just Earth Power here. Always. There's another bulk up. Um, yeah, we'll go for this, and then we'll go for another Strem Side back on them. Just do as much as we can with this Mon. Beautiful Mon, bro. Legit beautiful Mon. This mon was not four points. Always strength sap here. Because we get it back. And then basically we ignore what they can do. Like if they CC me, I'm going to... If they CC me, he, he loses to earth power ever. Uh, if he goes Val again, I'm in a good spot. Bitter Blade isn't going to do much. Yup. Bitter Blade doesn't do much. Then I just go for another earth power. There's a strength sap. Nice. Get you back. I'm 
gonna go for another Giga Drain just in case he wants to go Val. Uh, because Grass Terrain isn't activated. So this would be a decent turn to go with. Shadow Sneak doesn't do anything. Basically, I also want to be as full HP or close to full HP as possible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continuously do it this way. I need to be at as close to full HP as possible. I really want to be. Because that way I can live a hit from Iron Val. So, right, we're stretched up here. If he bulks up again, he's just giving me more. Because Banded Val can only do 340 damage max. And I'm not even sure if it's Banded. I'm really not even sure if it's Banded. Like, I'm actually not. Again, you might be thinking, oh, why doesn't he Earth Power? But I'm trying to keep myself as healthy as possible. Giga Drain here. Because as long as I'm as healthy as possible, I... Sorry, I know I drink the water really aggressively in the middle of battle. <laughs> As long as I'm as healthy as possible, I, I will live Val. And I, I don't even think it's banded, by the way. I just... I'm just playing it like it is. I, I really don't think Val is banded at all. But just because the calc shows it's not banded, but I, I've been known to mess up Evil like calcs versus Mons, which is really annoying. All right, let's go for another one. I think he wants to shout. I think he is out of bitter blades. Either way, I am out of range of the Valorant. Let's go. I am out of range of Val and our Bolivia, Olive, Bolive. Our Bolivia picks up Sarah Ledge as well. Let's go, Olive, Olive, Pert, Olive. All right, Val wants to come out and CC. It will not KO me. And then I KO it back with Giga Drain. And then all I got to do is hit the horse. And then Endeavor, and then hit the horse. So I should be in an okay spot. If horse comes out now, I mean, this 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 guy is putting in work, right? This guy don't care. This mall right in front of us does not care. And I have the tools. This is not going to be four points next season. I can tell you that. This was definitely one of the steals of my... Worst draft team, as everybody likes to call my team. It is definitely one of the steals of the draft team. For a hundred, a hundred percent one of the steals. A hundred percent one of this. It's a, it's a, it's a grasp, normal, but you know, it's a steal. Look what this mon does. Look what this mon is doing. All right, horse. Gonna go for Giga Drain just in case you want a Terra. And I should be good to win versus Val, I think, provided I don't get unlucky. We'll see. Because I definitely Giga Drain this. Glass in terrain. God, that mod actually doesn't take anything from this. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy how little glass takes. I'm assuming you'll tear here, though. But, like, if they do and they hit me, they don't kill me. And then I smack them with my uh, Terra Blast after. I think it's Terra Ice as well. And if that's the case, I Strength Sap into Terra Blast. And then we should be good with Scizor plus Cinderace, Scarf Ace versus Iron Val. I mean, Ace even if it wasn't Scarf. So there's Terra. What is it? What is it? Is it Electric? It's Fairy. Okay. Perfect. So it's still weak to Ice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. What are you hitting me with? Avalanche? Oh, that's it? Uh-oh. Uh oh! No 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 no! That's not enough. That's not enough. I'm gonna shrimp sap. I don't even care if they're rest or they can't touch me. I literally shrimp sap here, and they reset my they reset my shrimp sap. They reset my terrain, and then I one v one them. Even if they're curse avalanche, that doesn't matter. I shouldn't matter. I'm assuming it's curse though. But yeah, we're going to strength sap here because, again, I want this mod. I want my Terror Captain. I have full faith in Arbaliva, in 
in Basculin and in Billy this season, and I want them to put in work. That's already three kills in this game for the Olive. I'm getting all five. I'm getting five of them with it. Iron Defense doesn't do crap. That doesn't do crap, bro. I don't think so, anyway. Hmm. Well, terrain's gone, right? So I don't actually do anything back. I guess it's not going to get all six kills. Hmm. Terrain's done, right? Oh, well, whatever. You're not going to get all the kills. That's fine. <laughs> You're not going to get all the kills. Uh, I mean, Terrorblast has a chance to kill, actually, from that range. It has a chance to kill, so we'll see. I mean, if it just if, if it does kill, it gets all six kills. And the only way that I lose the Vow is if I, it dodges everything. It literally has to dodge everything. All right, Terra Blast Fire, let's go. Ah, did not get the KO. Unfortunate. Gets the body press. Doesn't do much. That did not do much at all. Yo, that didn't do much at all, bro. That didn't do much. But they have to CC me is the thing. They have to CC me. Ah, I can't let this mon die. I can't let this mon die. Whatever. I guess I'm going to let Val kill it. Oh, whatever. that's four kills for all of it. It's debut match. I'm so shout out to Maverick who said, yo, go fire over water. I was like, all right, cool. Fire this week is nice. Why not? Fire this week is nice. Unfortunately, Iron Vow does knock me out with close combat here. Uh, if it is banded, if it's not banded, huh? It actually never KOs me if it's not banded. Well, let's find out if it was choice banned. Because if it's not, that's five KOs. Shout out to Lestros, by the way. That's where we get the nicknames, except for like Bandito and stuff. Big shout out to him. Little Bandito, awesome dude. Shout out to Pert. Uh, but, woof. <laughs> this is it. My worst draft versus arguably the best draft in the league. Do we lose here? Now, I did check. Iron Val does not learn upper hand. Are you banded? It is not banded. That is... Five kills! That is five kills for my four-point terror captain! That is five kills for my four-point terror captain in its debut match! Garchomp! Sarah Ledge! Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Cyclozar died to Deancey. No, it's four kills! No! That is four kills! <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy, man. For everybody that said my draft sucks, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's not the team. It's the individual Pokemon and how you use them. Which is, I guess is the team. Don't look at my draft as round one Billy. Look at it as Billy will lead the team into playoffs. Will we win? Will we get a three-peat this season? Will the dynasty? I don't know. But I'm going to just try my best every single week. But yo, this mom was crazy. This mom was crazy. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like. Check out Ben and check out Playmore. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing an interview with, I believe, Pokemon and uh, uh, Tar Heel as well, which we'll be actually doing tomorrow. It kind of sucks because I got the raw. I got all the emotion right now that I want to show. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and sub to the channel. And I'll see you guys in a second in the interview. Peace. So I'm here with General Tar Heel, part of Playmore, the Benaral, Ben. Say hi to the people, bro. Hello to everybody out there, Playmore, the Benaral, here to uh, go over my new hatred for Arbeliva <laughs> and everything else. Hey, man. This mod is really cool. <laughs> it put in a lot of work. I'm not, I can't, I can't front it. put in a lot of work. Into... I mean, yeah, it had the team on your, on its back. Like, yeah, literally, 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 yeah, literally, quite, quite, I literally. mean, I prep for it a decent amount and quite power. a few mocks for it, yep. but yeah, I, I like, I knew Seed Sower Fire was likely, but I kept facing Fairy in my mocks, mm. um, with like Harvest Citrus, and I'm like, like it was still annoying nonetheless but i'm like i was more worried about the fire because you made the change yeah the day right, before literally right before and i tagged you close. and i tagged and you I'm like yeah you tagged me literally like everything possible and i'm like also it just gives you the perfect coverage for like my entire team yes uh which you had fire to it so i'm just like 
I, I just I should trust my gut a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. I think um, the, the interesting thing about fire is that like your answers for fire are weak to, you know, grass, right? Like Vaporeon yeah. does about fifty percent to me with Scald, and then I heal more than you do to me, type mm -hmm. of thing. And then I do obviously a lot more than uh, you get versus me too. So it, it's definitely just a like this is this was a tough matchup for me because you have arguably. You know the best team in the league at least at least top two in the in the least top two mm -hmm. right and um obviously yeah. first off like these first three picks are absolutely incredible and i love your terror captains as well i think both of them are absolutely insane um so i i just wanted to um this set was kind of what we came up with that like sounded good and i, I wanted a lot of text like we have citrus berry so that way we didn't have to worry about poltergeist you didn't have poltergeist you had iron head which i think was a smart tech too because i ev dnc to take you know plus two polter iron head wasn't something i'll probably start checking for that more and more on pokemon but um the i think the biggest turn was like really early with frankie going down to the the mm -hmm. choice band earthquake and i ran the calc after it was 86 to 102 so there was a you had a good shot of uh of living the earthquake so i am i am really sorry about that at least on the uh the grass itself like because maybe you could have gotten yeah. back with like my grassy terrain and everything yeah but, i definitely could have but i mean just like last year i kind of needed to keep both metagross and last year pretty healthy throughout the match and i just opted to not do that <laughs> i got punished for my poor switches and that just yeah i mean it happened um it is what it is I definitely thought, like, on Team Preview, Metagross might have been, like, my most important po Pokemon in the game, so I don't know why I made a play like that turn yeah, two, yeah. to be completely honest. Um, I don't, I'm, don't know if they're going to catch it on my hot mic, but literally as we were sending out our lead Pokemon, I said, if that's an offensive Swamper, I'm in trouble. And I still didn't respect it turn two and went <laughs> Metagross. So, yeah, that's on me. I should have even realized that more in prep because I know you like Banded Swamper. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, I, now I'm sweating a bit more when I'm looking at ground against my team. But, yeah, um, yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. you, have, you have good natural... Pokemon will take hits. Glastria, Amoongus, Vaporeon. But, like, you have only Jugulus as your, uh, as your mm -hmm. immunity. I mean, to be fair, look at my team and look at ground as well. I got Lottie and Billy, but... Even with this guy, this guy Terra fires, and then that's why that's why it was Terra fire on this too, because obviously the uh, the combination of grass terrain plus fire weakens like Garchomp type of thing. Mm -hmm. And I know I had Bandit Pert plus this, but the play was never these guys were never going to be in within the same few turns, in my opinion. Like yeah. like this Mon was meant to hopefully if you had Vaporeon, and you go hard until you take 50, 60 percent. If you don't go max max, you take more. And then I basically mm -hmm. uh, try and pick KO off the KO. Scarf Ace to help me out versus like a Vow and game. Love the Vow you brought as well. I knew it wasn't banded, mm -hmm. but I feel like I always mess up the calc on Evil Light Pokemon. So I was like, wait, is it banded? Wait, it's not banded. Knockoff did nothing, but is it banded? Bro, Qu Quill was messing me up so much in prep period <laughs> just because of Intimidate and a Violite yeah. to where, you know, just making sure you get it right no matter what. I mean, I did have a banded Vow on another variant mm -hmm. and it was just... I, I kind of wish I had it, to be honest, yeah, uh, yeah, for yeah. this game. But the four attacks was still good. I mean, the goal was Iron Valley and just to be annoying throughout the game and kind of chip down for uh, either Glastria or Sarah Ledge to win mm -hmm. it, which is based off the team that you brought that was physically impossible um, to where Iron Valley might have been able to clean up in the end, but that's more so only if, you know, Cinderace was blind. Mid yeah, Cinderace uh, being... And even then, I wasn't... Um, I was even debating, like, let's say this guy went down uh, to uh -huh. the... To the horse i was gonna go cinderace court change the hazards and then endeavor horse and then bullet punch bullet punch plus have this so i guess that end game might have actually even been worse because of fire punch but i don't think it would have ko'd me mm -hmm. from uh from full just because i'm a scissor i get the end uh game. it's it's a roll heavily in my favor really from um, from almost from 208 hp yeah yeah I, I know because I did a lot of mocks to where mm. it was like early on they led scissor mm. and I just you know went for it and it's like here, let me just check it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a roll. Oof. That's, well, I'm glad I didn't go that route anyway. Uh-huh. Because also, I mean, the other route I could have went was, uh, like I said, if it was blind, it would have sucked. But I could have, uh, if this thing went down, gone this guy, got off a strong earthquake, and then forced the KO on me from you. And I guess bullet punch and then forced my Cinderace in the end as well. So it would have came down to if Cinderace was blind, mm -hmm. uh, like you said. Yeah. At that point. Two, with 208 HP, it was a 98 to 116. Jesus, man. This mod is strong as hell. I love this set. I really love this. Just like you said, annoying 
hard to switch into mm -hmm. and then just good coverage for my uh my bulky pokemon like pert and everything like that freaking bubby sitting on every hit <laughs> at the same time yeah bro i i originally didn't have like cycles are and like way early builds and stuff like that mm -hmm. but i was just like man if he hazard stacks me i'm kind of screwed with this team just because i wanted to not force boots on my yeah. two potential sweepers yeah um and then also just not bringing amoongus if you brought t-spikes on quill it was also just a nightmare yeah it would be so hard. i just yeah. like i felt so forced and then also if you brought thunderous it just put a little bit less on uh garchomp if i had oh um, for sure i mean your garchomp AB can only dragon well, tail so. me and flamethrower me yeah. anyway so no i agree i mean yeah. we, we talked a little bit about it but his your first version of the team had uh or one of the versions had this suing electrode here with a uh, nice taunt knockoff and then very similar, no, um, looks like no magnet, magnet rise on this variant. This was an SD offensive one, choice band like you mentioned. And then this is a nasty set, bro. The Bitterblade Nightshade yeah. Taunt will o -Wisp, I like that. That is yeah, nasty. Yeah, I was, I was hoping to cook with that, but then I uh, found a few setup variants where I was like, okay, this is actually like a little bit more realistic. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you saw my you saw my first version of the team. I had a Billy right there. I had a Billy right here yes, and sir. primed and ready. Hey man, I mocked against a Billy. I mocked against a Billy. So how to do? How did? How to do? How to do? How to do? Uh, that's important. Do <laughs> okay. It 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 died to chop. Yeah, no, but... that's literally why I didn't bring it in either. I kept dying. <laughs> Look, bro, I'd either die to chop or miss versus chop as chop got up every layer in the world versus yeah. uh versus me like i, I mean lichen rock was another mon that looked really good versus you initially mm -hmm. uh pert quill scissor were basically always coming in my opinion and then yeah, this was like a sure. cool anti uh, this was like get as much damage off of you as possible avoid amoongus type of thing with thunderous and then annoy you just in case and then i even changed the version of focus blast to help with cyclozar because cyclozar was so annoying for this team and plus you had mm -hmm. like this this mon is so annoying dude it gets power whip it gets Iron Head. It gets Temper Flare now. Like it's so frustrating. You could opt to bring a more offensive uh, Rapid Spinning variant. So I was like, F it. I'm gonna try and um, use things that hopefully catch you off guard. Choice Band Pert, uh, mixed offensive with defense to take like CCs and and Poltergeist and things like that. Obviously this guy and then uh, the SD Thief Scizor as well mm -hmm. with Dual Wing Beat, which Cook the Moongus does like 70 to the Vaporeon. And this was like my end all be all. Whatever he throws at me, I can endure. And good call, obviously, uh, calling the uh, the cuss app there. But I mean, the important part was it forced out Val, which is what I wanted. But yeah, yeah, sure. um, But this was like my end all be all. Okay, cool. He brings Jug, Flash Cannon. Cool. I'm a Moon Blast it. Get the cuss app berry after. The horse is a damn problem, and it also needs a lot of speed. And if it gets speed, like my team is, hits really hard. You want HP at least into me. So I felt yep. like if you go a lot of speed, you miss out on a lot of stuff so i was mm -hmm. like i could just endeavor it that was my thing like whether you're cursed like rest talk because i fought curse avalanche and that thing cooked me as well with rest sleep mm -hmm. talk so this was like my go-to cook endeavor even if you switch i'll save this mon endeavor later type of thing um yeah that diancy is fire and then like the more i'm just keep looking at your team i'm like i don't know how he's saying it was one of his worst matchups because i mean the, the build you just did so well in prep to where it was just like realistically when i keep looking at this i'm like I don't think I ever built any sort of combination that actually like beat this team to where, I mean, I guess that's also just more on my end too, but it's just like, I mean, that's, I mean, that was just perfect. That Diancy with I, I will say, stuff. Like, that's just I, will, so smart. I will say this version did not lose one muck. And I, I only played, um, I played MV, Owen, Tone, and Amel. And I played MV, Owen, and Tone once because I'm not showing off text more than once. In this case, like normally I, I do a bunch of mocks, but if I, if my thought process was I can't win this game without text. And these guys are going to start playing like they know the Endeavor Deancey, like they know the Destiny Bond on Quill. Yeah, yeah. Like even this is stuff you can think about, but like they're going to, they know it's going to happen, right? Like they're going to mm -hmm. play differently versus CB per, like in one game, someone let Garchomp and then switched to the part and it got two a KO. And in the next game, they click stayed in with Garchomp on my Earthquake. Like, the things like that. I was like, he's not going to make that play turn one. Like, why would he throw away Garchomp when I have Cinderace plus Scizor type of thing? Like, yep. There's so many options. Like, so I, I believe that like you can make text to beat it. And this was a very important game for me because I, I, I really wanted to win because a lot of people think I have a bad draft, the worst in the league. Nope. And I am like, yo, I, I, I like my draft a lot. I might have a billion of Dugong, but they're... 
Shoot, the rest of the mons are good. Oh, Y'all gotta realize this man got this like the strongest priority in the game. I do. Like, he's got Libero Sucker Punch. He's got Technician Bullet Punch. He's got Tough Laws to Cell Rock, and he's yep. got Adaptability Aqua Jet. <laughs> like I was looking wait, at wait, that. And that's wait, why wait, I wait, adap wait, Adaptability Electrode off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My basket. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Dugong for a second. I was like, wait, <laughs> Dugong. I was yo, wrong. Yo, somebody got me so hyped in the comments the other day, bro. They said yeah. I cannot wait for Aim to sleep with Agility Dugong. I. Went to bed last night excited. I woke up in the morning and checked my team boater, and it did not learn agility. And I was just so yeah. pressed. I was like, "Yo, I can't do anything with this mon." But yeah, I we have a we have a interesting audience at Playmore to where it's like a lot of John's like normal audience that isn't too familiar with competitive. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. they throw some ideas out in the comments, and one dude's like, "Yeah, Iron Ball, Trick Room, Heavy Slam, Metagross," and I'm like, "Wait, that's actually bars." And it's like it doesn't get Trick Room. I don't know why Metagross doesn't get Trick Room. Whoa, wait, wait. I I actually, I actually thought that was. I knew it didn't get trick room, and I still thought that was fire for a I, sec. Because yeah, I was remembering bronze. Like, I was remembering bronze on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even if like I wouldn't use that for metagross, it's like that also supports my glass barrier and trick room. Yeah, like, yeah, that'd be yeah. Fire. But no, if I got use trick room, I got to use it on freaking uh, iron valiant. <laughs> so I, I think they didn't give this thing meta um, trick room because it would have been broken. <laughs> like, like that hasn't stopped them with plenty of other Pokemon. So I, I, it, it's true. But like this mod in particular wreaked havoc in VGC until they nerfed Explosion. So like, I get it. Okay, yeah. Because like, they gave it to Bronzong, and this Bronzong has way less attack than this 405 monster over here. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, it's, it's just be like, I just want, like, that's why I really wanted to win this game. And like you said uh, before, when we were talking privately, we never got to play in APA because I had real life stuff going on. Um, mm -hmm. So I always forfeited the win. And um, I'm happy we got to play, and I am excited to see how you use this draft. I'm, it's week two, but I haven't even watched their week one yet because videos haven't gone out. I'm just talking to the viewers right now. So I'm excited to see what he does with Glass in week one and how he uses it going forward because I, I said it before, but I think you have the two best Terra Captains in terms of combinations. You have the two best. Mm -hmm. I think Chimpak has the best Terra Captain in Rever Room, but I think you have the two best Terra Captains. And Yeah, no, I fully agree. Like I, I was saying that in our draft analysis as well, and I'm like, I'm not saying it to be like over ego, which I do with my character a lot on the mm -hmm. channel, mm -hmm. but it's just like, it's just a fact. <laughs> like those two are insane. The stats on glass year. And of course I don't need to talk about electro. Oh, they know, they you. know what electro does. <laughs> that one. But I keep looking at matchups and I'm like, damn, I actually hope I get to use electro. Cause I keep wanting to bring glass year when I'm just like briefly looking at these. Cause I mean, this horse is a threat, dude. Yeah, like it's... I'm so happy I went with it. Dude, honestly, and like, it was very lucky because we actually put down both of them in points this season yep. because they hadn't <laughs> been, nobody was drafting glass, and I, which I was surprised uh -huh. about because it's good as hell. I also think ice is really good in, in draft as well. I, I think having ice moves mm -hmm. is really good in draft. Um, and then obviously Electrode, which we had, I think Ray, uh, we had raised it up a little. We actually put it back down again too because it wasn't mm -hmm. as great last season either. So it's sick to see you use both. And I get it's gonna be hard. My thing with Electrode is it's just the Mon that could come every time just because you just Volt Switch forever and just bring in your, your demons. But I guess you technically yep. have Bubby right here that could do the <laughs> exact same thing. So if you're willing to give me Electrode or Metagross, I will take them off your hands. I have a Dugong that is just primed and ready. After it does something, I have a Dugong that's primed and ready if you want to trade. I don't, I don't, it could oh, help. those are like equal point values. Uh -huh. so, very, I mean, very one equal. one right there. Uh -huh. I would argue that Dugong was more because it was a little bit more expensive of a buy if you think about it. Uh, from it was 50 members. I don't know how many members Metagross was, but I don't think it was that that much. I, th I think you wanted this Pokemon. I think you got it third for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I believe I did, uh, <laughs> and I'm very happy I got it. No, uh, on the real though, just because everyone keeps talking about it, yeah, I do think my team is also just the best. But that puts so much damn pressure on me, bro. <laughs> don't take it like, that way, bro. I want to do plenty of well. Um, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you come in and say your team's the best, and then you lose <laughs> week after week after week. I get, I get it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's just like, I mean, literally, I got sniped of like Dark Ari gouging, gouging fire, mm -hmm. like for the first round, and then I went Valor, whatever. Didn't get sniped at all Dude, after that. Valor it's just like is literally so anything crazy. I put on the plan, I got. Yeah. I dude, I honestly, wild. I love it. I love what you did. I love it, and I felt the same pressure with Dragapult specifically Dragapult, not the rest of my team, because I know the rest of our team would carry. But like Dragapult, it's like, oh yeah, number one gives you so much, and then I felt like it was lackluster for me last season. Mm -hmm. It was there. Like, it was there to clean up at the end, which I guess is important. But, like, if I had to go between Dragapult and a, a Terra Suing Electrode, I pick Terra Suing Electrode every day, right? Just, mm -hmm. there's so much more reliable. But I feel like, dude, you're going to do great. Like, you're off, first off, you're going to make playoffs, right? That There's there's just no, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no, 
Now, if you fight me in playoffs, I can't say you'll win <laughs> the series. But I will also say I'll do my best to avoid you in playoffs because this is one of the matchups where I'll get my one win and then hope somebody else knocks you out type of thing. But also, yeah. I could also not make playoffs at the same time. So, But I think you 100% make uh, playoffs. I feel like, one, you're very good. And two, your team is very good. And you, you pilot it fine. So, I, I really, I'm excited to see what you guys do going forward. Please, if you have not watched what Playmore did before, just, not even just the commentary from John um, and Tyler, but just look back at some of the game. Look at the game where he was playing Hisui and Avalug. All right, with Samra, and he was messing up that entire team with Samra, and he calls the Terra and goes for air slash, uh, air slash on the Terra fight, Hisui and Avalon, and messes him up. Just look at look at Ben while it's happening. He's like, yeah, this guy, this guy's this guy's taking the team to finals. That's the guy. That's the type of guy. <laughs> That's the type of guy. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm excited, uh, obviously, to watch the game from uh, their side and everything, and I'm excited to to go forward. And, and thank you for the game. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really happy we were able to play uh, finally, and. Um, yeah, just I, I think you're gonna make any trades this season. Or you think you're gonna keep your team? I feel like you're just gonna keep it. I'm more than likely keeping my team. I'm hardly a person that ever does FAs to begin with, yeah, or like any trades. I like kind of sticking with what I draft. So, I mean, plus, it, I, I don't want to kind of ruin the perfection I got going on. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I mean, I, you're talking to a you're preaching to a doctor, bro. Like, it's the same, the choir, rather. <laughs> it's the same thing, dude. The only thing I ever change is terror caps if I think they're appropriate going forward. But besides yeah, that, yeah. I, t I typically don't try and um, like fire, obviously. Like I was look, I was looking at this mod into you and it would not have put in work without being fire. Cause being, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I guess water would have been okay, but you could have Terra Electric this guy. Yeah, water might've yeah. been good into this build, I guess, but I didn't want it. It was a Mungus specifically. Like a Mungus being on your team specifically mm -hmm. is why uh, it was changed to fire. But uh, thank you so much for coming on guys. Please check them out. Link is down below and uh, yeah, they're a playoff. They're going to make playoffs. They have the best team in the draft league. At least top two. I'm, I'm saying top two just because I think Uzi has a really good team. I, I, actually, there's so many in, annoying teams. Uzi and Leo. Yeah, Leo has a yeah. crazy team as well. You guys play this season? No, God, no. The Are you serious? Oh, my God. Come <laughs> on, man. I need people to knock each other out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I face Uzi week four at least. But Fair, yeah. fair. Yeah, but... Uzi's team is great, but Leo has like Bundo Ogre Pond. Like I want to see, I want to see that versus the Metagross. It's like the, the Titans. Literally right? just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight it for the Titans. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, sub, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.